I will attempt to put this, it's called the Mini, actually it's called the uh, Micro ATX into this Mini ITX case. It, you're like, hold on, how you can fit that in? Because this one is, uh, got two slots. This one's about a mm, half an inch between the, each other. This one's actually got the spots for the Mini ITX uh, screws. And there's two slots. This is also two slots, but I want to see if this fits. If it fits, that'd be awesome. Okay, stay tuned for more episodes of the PC build. The, the Core i5-2400 processor, full core processor, Intel, Ivy, no, Sandy Bridge, yes, 12 gigs of memory, going in here. Okay, got the heat sink on now. It's all plugged in. Got good go. <clears throat> right on it. Should fit pretty well in here. Oh, hope so. Okay. Let's see what yeah, happens. Like I guessed, it fits right into that mini ITX tower. See, so it's got two slots. You still have to put like a two, almost two double wide in here. Make sure the one vent has one vent on bottom, one single slot with I.O. That way you can just uh, put, you know, customize a little bit to fit it in here. Should fit pretty well. Oh, the cable management. Almost done. Alright, stay tuned. Okay, upgrade update on the video card. The video card was a little bit too long on the on the stock heat sink. Uh, it's this right here. They said it was 5.7 inches with a vent in it, but actually it's about over 6 inches with the old fan on there. So I took that off and customized a heat sink for the CPU. See, now it's cut down to the 5.7 inches. It's double wide now, but it should fit right in there with no problem. Uh, hopefully it works pretty good. This came off a AM1 uh, APU socket, which I'm not using anymore. Uh, hopefully it works. And... Alright, stay tuned. Okay, there's the video modified video card. Still got a gap room. But uh, it's okay because it's got enough airflow through these vents there. And there's my SSD and SATA drive right to the PCI Express 1 bus. It fits right in there and have two slots. And there's my i5-2400 Intel CPU. 12 gigs of memory. And now I'll put the... Now we'll see if I can try to fit the... Uh, uh, a hard drive in here with terabyte. I think I'm gonna glue it to the roof right here uh, with hot glue. Um, make it work and it should work just fine. All right, stay tuned. All right, I got the power supply in. Cords out of the way. Tucked them back there. I glued the hard drive in for extra storage. Um, hopefully it works pretty well. I'm gonna go find out pretty soon when I go plug it in. I got that in for it to take in, take in, so it keeps down the coolness. So you're gonna have the airflow okay underneath. Got some open windows there, got some over there. And ventilation on the side is gonna be open. Okay, hope that works pretty well. Alright, see you guys later. It is finished finally. Six o'clock in the morning. That's all finished. Oh.
It works great. I had to switch out the CPU chip with a Celeron and update the BIOS to make the 2400i5 to work in, in the board, but it's finally done. Customize the video card. It's perfect. Get 45 frames at 1360 by 768 in Rust. The experimental. Uh, World of Warcraft uh, testing and all other games is going to be testing at 1360-768 later on today when I get off work. Alrighty. I hope you all have a good day. Bye bye. Thank you.